So now we have the uh, we all we have it all done here and finished. We we took it out of the bowl. Um, we added uh, a quarter cup more flour to the bottom of the bowl, mixed that ball into a bigger ball, and and it, it came into a ball, and then it became kind of sticky. So we put another quarter cup in the bottom of the bowl, rolled it up into a ball, and got into a nice ball. And now you see how the ball is now. It took about fifteen minutes. Um, and we put it into a well greased bag. You have to put it into a well greased bag. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over so you can see what I was talking about. About when you're making the ravioli, which a lot of people don't like to do because this um, it takes a while to make. So, um, but you can see how that would be like the regular ravioli, but this is the beet ravioli. So, I didn't want to make the dough, the ravioli itself so red that's why it wasn't worked in so much like so like like that so but this is going to be good so this is in a well oil bag has to go into the freezer for an hour and a half um it has to go in the freezer into in this well oil bag and for an hour and a half this is a half recipe on the ravioli so the full recipe is double the recipe and double the time so you know normally it'll be uh three hours in the refrigerator or an hour and a half in the, in the freezer or for the full recipe is double that time, so you know what that is. So you know, so it, it'll be three hours in the freezer or um, six hours in the refrigerator. So either or, which way it goes. So this half recipe, this how it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, put it in the freezer, get this ravioli together. As you see, it's in here forming together. So we gotta go ahead and let it continue to form itself on out. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the freezer, and um, we'll see you then.